Hi there, happy hump day. Welcome to Wednesday. I was reading a report the other day that suggests that for people entering the workforce now, they're going to have at least 17 different employers and five different careers. I've also seen reports that put that number slightly higher and slightly lower. I'd also suggest that throughout history, careers have always changed. I can use myself as an example. I've changed careers multiple times. But the stats are a nice reminder that the world of work is changing. It's always changed and will continue to change. And one of the things for all of us is to really think about how do we make ourselves ready for it? And what's our appetite for that change? What's our appetite to take a risk with our careers when we're thinking about doing something new? I liken it to three different styles. You can be a navigator, a surveyor, or a pioneer. And it's about where do you sit on that spectrum? As a navigator, you like to know what's coming next. You like the well-trodden career path. You like what's familiar. This doesn't mean that you don't like being challenged. It doesn't mean that you don't want to be promoted or advanced in your career. It's just a different style and a different appetite in terms of the amount of risk that you're willing to take on. In contrast, if you're a surveyor, you're more likely to want to push the boundaries a bit further, to do things that are a little more challenging, a bit harder, because you may not just be jumping functional roles. You might be jumping functional roles and jumping industries at the same time. So there's increased complexity in terms of the type of career change that you're seeking to make. Or you could be pioneer. Now, a pioneer, highest level of risk. They're really comfortable with the unknown. They like doing things that they've never done before and don't really know whether they're going to work out or not. They're not concerned that there's no clear, clear career path or that sort of step-by-step -step approach. They want the challenge. They want the unknown. It's that risk that spurs them on. They love experimenting with things, trying new ideas, seeing if it's working, tweaking it, changing it. In many respects, it means their career options are almost boundaryless because it's just about where their risk appetite and their capabilities will take them. Now, as I map that out, navigator, surveyor, pioneer, it can be really easy to think that one is better than the other. It's not. All of them are very valid ways of approaching your career. I've been in all at different points in my career. You may be a navigator, then move to surveyor, then move to pioneer, then go back to navigator. There can be reasons why you make those choices. The point behind this type of framework is to really help you work through what's my appetite for risk? Is that appetite for risk appropriate given the current circumstances that I'm in? If I hold this level of risk appetite, is it going to hold me back in some way, stop me seeking opportunities that I should be going for? Are there options out there that I should be exploring? This is about you getting really clear on what matters to you in terms of that level of risk you're willing to take on. Because perhaps you might need to dial it up. It may also be the case that you need to dial it down. But you won't know unless you figure that out first. Take care. I'll see you next week.